continue with the class so in the previous video had had uh, like we were dealing with united nation development program that is undp program so now we'll start with the next health agency that is world bank so world bank is it was established in the year 1944 okay? it was established in the year 1944 and the headquarters of this world bank it is in washington okay the headquarters of this world bank it is in washington the world bank was usually established in the year 1944 and usually the uh, um, it, it it was established in the year 1944 and the headquarters is in washington okay the headquarters is in washington so the world bank it is a vital source of financial and technical assistance to all developing countries okay so world bank it is usually a vital source of it is usually a vital source of uh, vital source of financial and technical assistance okay it is a vital source of financial and technical assistance to all uh, to all developing countries so this usually has like uh, it is usually has more than 10000 employees okay it has more than 10000 employees and the offices are about more than 100 okay so it has mostly 10 more than 10000 employees and the office is usually is in um at the offices are usually more than 100 okay the offices are usually more than 100 so world bank it is usually was established in the year 1944 and the headquarters is in and the headquarters is in uh, washington okay the headquarters is in washington and this usually was established mainly like it usually provides financial as well as technical assistance to all the developing countries so that they can improve and usually they have more than 10000 employees okay they have more than 10000 employees and also they have more than 100 offices okay they have more than 100 offices so what are the work that they usually give or what are the functions of this world bank it is that they usually provide interest less credit okay they usually provides interest less like, uh, interest free credit or interest free interest free loans and usually they give this to developing countries okay usually this they give to the developing countries so that they can improvise in various areas so that they can improvise in various areas so like education agriculture industry health related or they can improve towards health and usually public administration infrastructure they can improve and also they can improve like private sector development okay they can go with private sector development and also they can improve environmental natural resource okay they can improve environmental natural resource so what are the functions of this world bank it is that it mainly provides credit free loans okay it mainly provides credit free loan it usually provides uh, interest free credit okay it usually provides interest free credit interest free loan for the developing countries so that they can improvise their uh, nations okay so they can improvise nations or they can use this for the purpose of edu improvising education uh, agriculture industry private sector development public administration infrastructure and environmental as well as natural resources can be developed so that is usually the functions or the work of the world bank okay that is the functions or work of world bank so next is mission the main mission is to reduce poverty okay the main mission is to reduce poverty to improve the people themselves as well as the environment okay to improve the people as well as environment resources so that they can build up the capacity so that they can build up the capacity like uh, in public and private sector so that they can improve they can build up the capacity this is in public and private sector so this is usually about this mission of world bank so what is the mission of world bank so mission of world bank it is mainly to fight against poverty okay to fight against poverty to improve the people as well as themselves as, well as the environmental resources as well as the environment so that they can provide adequate resources so that they can provide adequate resources so that they can improve public as well as private sector so this is usually the mission of world bank so what are the criteria that the world bank has to follow or what are the criteria the world bank works for it is mainly to eradicate poverty because the first thing is to eradicate poverty next to achieve primary education then to promote gender equality okay to promote gender equality where discrimination is still going on okay where discrimination is still going on so therefore to eradicate that uh, this uh, discrimination next to reduce child mortality rate okay to next is to reduce child mortality rate then to improve maternal health okay then to improve maternal health okay then to improve maternal health 
then usually to um, like to prevent the or to take certain preventive measures it take certain preventive measures for reduction of hiv aids malaria and other diseases okay hiv aids and other diseases then to improve environmental sanitation okay to improve environmental sanitation so this is usually the criteria that the world bank works based on so it is eradication of poverty universal prime education to be given then to take certain measures to preventive measures to reduce hiv aids and other diseases next is to promote gender equality and to reduce child mortality and to improve maternal health as well as to improve environmental sanitation so this is about this world bank okay so functions as well what are the mission of this world bank so world bank usually works it was established in the year 1944 it was established in and the headquarters is in washington okay the headquarters is in washington okay the headquarters is usually in washington so this is usually what happens so this usually works mainly to reduce poverty okay it usually works mainly to reduce poverty or to improve the developing country so that they can improve the to improve the developing countries so they have more than 10000 employees as well as they have more than 100 offices so the functions everything have told hope you would have understood about this world bank so next we'll move with uh, what are the things that is usually there in case of world bank which is there in our country so world bank in our country usually it is usually an olden part like it was usually from a long back like in the year 1944 this india usually joined this world bank like india usually a uh, member of this world bank in the year 1944 and this now this in india as well as the world bank are in a partnership but this world bank and india will work in the partnership based on central and state government okay they work based on central and state government okay so this is usually about this a uh, world bank in our country so this is india is usually a oldest member of this world bank where they usually joined in the year 1944 okay where they usually joined in the year 1944 they work based on the central government and state government so this is about this world bank so next is food agriculture organization so next agency is food agriculture organization so this food agriculture and organization food agriculture organization this was established in the year 1945 okay this was established in the year 1945 and the headquarters is in rome okay the headquarters is in rome so this food agriculture and so this food agriculture and uh, this uh, this food agriculture and organ food and agriculture organization okay food and agriculture organization was established in the year 1945 and the headquarters is in rome okay the headquarters is in rome so that is usually there and this was usually a united nation organization okay this was usually a united nation organization so this was created mainly to take certain steps in the agriculture area okay so this was taken mainly to take certain steps in the agriculture area and this usually works based on cooperation of the other nations okay this works based on the cooperation of other nation so the food agriculture food and agriculture organization okay food and agriculture organization was established in the year 1945 okay was established in the year 1945 and the headquarters is in rome so the food agriculture and organize uh, food and agriculture organization was usually established based on this united nation organization this is usually a specialized organization okay this is usually a specialized organization which works based on the world's cooperation okay which works based on the world's cooperation so what are the chief aims of this food and agriculture F fao that is food and agricultural organization the main aim is to improve the living standards okay the main aim is to improve the living standards of all the individuals okay the main aim is to improve the living standards of all the organization okay to improve the living standards of all the organization then to improve the nutritional status of the individuals okay to improve the nutritional status of the individual in all the countries next is usually to increase the efficiency of farming fishery okay to improve the efficiency of farming fishery as well as forestry to improve the efficiency of farming well, forestry and fisheries so that is usually there and also to Uh, help the people so that they can have good 
productive work okay with good benefits okay so that to help the people to have good productive work so that they will have good benefits okay, to, so that they will be having good benefits so these are the chief aims of this food and agriculture organization so what are the main main aim is to uh, improve the living standards next to take out the to improve the nutrition status of all the people in the, all the country and next is usually uh to raise like to increase the efficiency of farming forestry and fisheries and also to help the people to have productive work as well as uh, so that they can have good benefits of so food agriculture and organ food and agriculture organization was established in the year 1945 and the headquarters is in rome so remaining we'll see in the next video